This will be the second raise in tariffs by the Suez Canal Authority in less than a year, with 15% fee levied on all vessels except heavy bulk and cruise ships, which will incur a fee of 10%. It's a logical increase in fees due to global inflation, higher energy prices and operational costs. The canal is investing a lot on upgrading services for the vessels. The extra income is aimed at funding expensive development work as well, to widen the passageway and allow more vessels to pass through at shorter transit time. Maritime experts are confident the hike in tariffs will not deter shipping companies. I expect more vessels to pass through because it remains the shorter route between countries in the east and the west in the world, which reduces fuel costs for vessels. Therefore, revenue will increase in spite of the higher fees. The canal, which receives an average of 90 vessels per day, is an essential component for Egypt's economy, which is reeling from the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The Suez Canal is vital because it's one of the five main sources of hard currency for the states. Secondly, the Suez Canal has also become an economic zone with different industrial areas that attract investments and add value to the economy. The Suez Canal hit a record revenue of $7 billion in the 2021-2022 fiscal year. Officials say they're taking all measures to make the highest possible income from this popular international trading route.